She dead? <laughs> no. Where they got her? I don't know. Tomorrow morning, they're gonna move her to community hospital. I'm gonna let you fix real good, Willie. Only you're not gonna come down. I just wanna help. Hey. Leave me alone! What do you got? The talk on the street is... for a lot of money. She's a target. Are you sure about this new guy? All I know is what Maxie told me. He's okay. Well, why do you have to meet him here? Because Maxie said so. I'm sorry. Hey, Tommy. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Keep it together till I get back, okay? My man. How do I know about this stuff? Hey, if it was bad, then that'd make a bad scene for a new guy going in business like myself now, wouldn't it? Now, if you know any other chicks who want to turn on, you tell them about Willie Rebell, dig? Tell him that the price is always right. Bad news all around, Willie. Lose him. I let you push some dime shooters for me. Now you want a deal. Uh, it's not like that, Mr. K. I made a buy. I had some, some extra smack, that's all. Where'd you connect? A guy I'd never seen before. Honest, he was from out of town. Who set it up? Come on, the man is talking to you. Maxie. Yeah, yeah, it was Maxie. I'm gonna wanna talk to Maxie. I make rules. You break them. What am I going to do with you, Willie? Please, Mr. K, give me, give me another chance. Give you another chance? Look too easy. Somebody else will try. 
I'm gonna let you fix real good, Willie. Only you're not gonna come down. Okay, uh, how about this? Um, medium rare, tossed green with blue cheese, holy garlic. Oh, yeah, you're the waitress at Phil's diner. Right, right, Marjorie. What can I do for you? Well, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, about my daughter, Nancy. She's, uh, she's in some kind of trouble. What kind of trouble? Maybe the police kind. Why don't you go to the police? What can I do for you? Hey, uh, listen, I, uh, I I can't talk now. Could you uh, maybe come over here? All right. Uh, work. All right. I'll be over in a while. I gotta finish my lunch. Okay, I'll wait for you. Thanks. Hey, I, I forgot to ask you how much you charge. A hundred dollars a day in expenses. Whew. I don't want to own you, Mr. Orwell. I just want to hire you. We'll work something out. Oh, okay, thanks. Nan my, my daughter, Nancy, she's, uh, she's been arrested four times already this year. And before that, too. Judge said next time she'd have to go to jail for a year, maybe. What kind of trouble she had? All I know is she was crying when she called, and she said, maybe Tommy's dead. Who's Tommy? 
high school sweetheart, Tommy Reynoso. What happened? I don't know. All I know, all she said was, I think they killed him. And then she said maybe it was her fault, and then she started crying again. That's all she said? That's all. Where is she now? Hey, if I knew that, I wouldn't need you. Doesn't she live with you? No. No, we, uh, we had a fight, and she ran. I couldn't stop her. Last month, she moved in with Tommy. But I've been calling her the last couple of hours, no answer. Somebody's got to help her. Okay. What's her address? Yeah. It's 112 South Halverson. 112 and a half South Halverson. Apartment 22, it's in the alley. Marge Wayne had also told me that she tried to reach Nancy several times by phone. If Nancy had witnessed a murder, I could think of one good reason why she might not be able to answer those calls. Yeah. I'm looking for Nancy Wayne. Your cop? No. Come on in. I'm looking for Nancy, too. Why? Because I dig her. You dig her? I don't know her. Why are you looking for her? You have private reasons. Hey, you can trust me. My neighborhood mechanic, I trust. You, I'm not sure about. Yeah, what are you, a clown? No, I'm a private detective. Oh, who hired you? Her mother. Her mother? <laughs> we just fired you. Roberts, did somebody just knock? No, sir. Well, it must have been the wind. Nobody comes into my office without knocking. Roberts, you just missed the main event. I try to avoid elaborate trivialities. About an hour ago, two guys kicked me around. That's what I mean. Do you want to know why? He probably walked into their office without knocking. We were all looking for the same thing. We ran into each other, Roberts. And what was that? What? What were they looking for, Roberts? Who were they looking for? Roberts. For whom were they looking? For my client's daughter, Roberts. And who is his client? My client is Marge Wayne. She's a waitress at a restaurant where I eat sometimes. You think Orwell could pick those two guys out of a mug book? You tell Roberts I could pick them out of a dark cellar, but that's not going to do any good. They'd probably deny it. Orwell has managed to rekindle my lack of interest. Roberts, would you be interested if I told you that this is a possible homicide? And who would that possible homicide be? Tommy Renoso. When Orwell comes in, have him follow me. The workman found a body down by the oil refinery. Your client's daughter saw what happened? I didn't say that. You implied it. No, mother implied it. What do you know about that? I never saw it. When the body came in, I had Robert from Tommy Reynoso through R&I. But what did you find out? They had two priors. A couple of years ago, a gang war. Last year, breaking and entering. That one was dismissed. He had a girl with him when he was arrested. Is this a girl? Where'd you get this? From a scrapbook in her apartment. You know? Yeah, it's Nancy Wayne. I don't uh, know how old it is when you made the run. Did you find out her age? Yeah, just turned 16. Nancy Wayne has been in and out of juvenile so often she's worn a path. She's got about 12 marks, all bad. What for? Use and possession. What's your next move, Orwell? You first. Well, she's a possible witness. I'll put out an APB on her. Well, if you find her... Well, if I find her, I'll let you know. And I trust, of course, you'll do the same. Don't leap to a reply, Orwell. Who does Nancy make a buys from? We don't know the connection, just the contact. Now, who's he? His name's Bama Stern. He's strictly nickels and dimes. Now, where do I find him? On the street. Hey, you Bama Stern? Who are you? How do you know that? Well, I asked around, and you fit the description. Hey, man, are you a cop? No. Nope. 
How do I know that? I just told you. Right, look, I got to go, okay? Wait a minute, I wanna, I wanna ask you something. You know, uh, Nancy Wayne? Look, man, I know Nancy. Everybody knows Nancy. Yeah, uh, good. What do you want with her? I just wanna know where you send her when she wants to make a score. <laughs> I can't tell you nothing like that. Uh, you can tell it to the police department. I thought you weren't a cop. Well, I'm not, but I, uh, know somebody who is a lieutenant friend of mine. Right. You, yeah. You and this lieutenant That's are really it. close, huh? Yeah. Hey, man, I don't want no trouble, no cops. Well, you just tell me, and then I, uh, won't have to mention to him that I ever talked to you. Look, there's this new guy in town. His name is Willie Ravel. Where does Mr. Ravel live? He's got a room over a tailor shop on the corner of 5th and Mason. I got to go. I found the link to my client's missing daughter. The only trouble was, by the time I got to him, he was dead. Operator. Yeah, operator, give me the police. There's nothing here, Nancy. You can call somebody. Not at this time of day. My man closed his shop a long time ago. Can you wait? <sighs> oh, Mr. Kern, I uh, know somebody. Hey, no, not him. All right. Well, wait a minute. There's a new guy. Uh, I don't know. I've got his number someplace, I guess. Yeah. When both the police department and I came up empty in our search for Nancy Wayne, I went back to go. The apartment building where she lived with her boyfriend. I was hoping the manager might come up with a lead. And even if he could, I knew it would take just the right kind of leverage to get it out of him. Where would I find the manager? I'm the manager. You looking to rent? Well, if I was, it wouldn't be him. You got a smart mouth, pretty boy. Hey, you run a lousy store. What's wrong with it? You haven't got the proper ventilation for gas heaters. What do you care? What do you want? I just want the answers to a couple of questions. Well, you get nothing. Nothing from me. Well, then who do I go and see? The Department of Building and Safety? What questions? I want to know about one of your tenants and Nancy Wayne. What do you want to know about her? I want to know where she might be. How would I know? She just moved in a month ago. I hardly know her. Well, she must have friends that drop by. All I know is that she moved in upstairs with that Chicano kid, uh, Tommy Reynoso. Yeah, I know about him. He's dead. What? That's it. Who else? Uh, there was some woman come by three or four times. Black. What's her name? Sally Jackson. Where would I find her? I think she works in a bar someplace. I was in the right ballpark for any kind of action anybody might want to look for. Bookmakers, drugs, hookers turning guys on, and fancy places called massage parlors. For me, this action all comes under one heading. I call them street games. Can you mix me a banana daiquiri? I can't mix. I just pour. The regular bartender's not here yet. Well, what do you do regularly? I train that seal. I own this place. Can I talk to you? 
Don't tell nobody, but we're talking. About Nancy Wayne? Well, what, is she in trouble? Why, you say that uh, like you're not surprised. Because today, everybody want to know about her. The cops, the bad guys. Now, why do you? Her mother hired me. What bad guys? Like that one over by the jukebox. What's his name? Cutter. Is that a first name or a last name? Neither. It's a nickname. He earned it cutting people. Who are you? Hmm? Who are you? Oh, my name is Harry Orwell. I'm a private detective. Well, do you know about her problem? Just a... Just a spectator. Well, it's not a pretty picture. Well, where can I find her? Now, why should I tell you that? Because I'm not a bad guy and I'm not a cop. Oh, you're a good guy, huh? Depends on who you talk to. <laughs> well, there's only one place that I know that you might find her. Now, she has a girlfriend that lives over on Canal Place. And her name is Jean Blair. What's the address? That you'll find out for yourself. Listen, if the regular bartender comes back, um... Have a mix you a banana daiquiri. <laughs> okay. If you see her, would you tell her I asked about her? Yeah. He's leaving now. Stick with him. If he knows where that girl is, I want to know. sent me to find out if you're okay. She doesn't even care about me. Then why would she hire me to find you? Say, where's your friend Jean? She's away. She won't be back. Where'd she go? Look, I don't know. Why are you asking me all these questions? Well, so tell me about you and Tommy Reynoso. Tommy's dead. You know who killed him? No. No, I don't know. You were with him? Did my mother tell you that? Yep. Well, she shouldn't have done that. She's always doing things that she shouldn't do. Is that why you ran away from home? I didn't leave. She threw me out. Why? Because I was going to have Tommy's baby. Hey, look, would you leave me alone? I'll try to get you some help. Just go away. They'll take me to one of those places and they'll strap me down. I just want to help. Way to stop it hurting for a little while, but I gotta use the telephone. I got you some stuff, baby, and it's I got my units checking out the whole area. What I want to know, Orwell, is how you lost her. She had the home court advantage. Here's the autopsy report on the guy you found in the room. William P. Willie Ravel. Right. What do you got on him? He's the user. I think he's a pusher, too. 
Is that the gentleman? I think so. Somehow it all fits together all well. Lieutenant? Yes. Just picked up Maxi Reardon. He's in interrogation. Right. <laughs> Maxi. Maxi. Hi, Lieutenant. How are you doing, Maxi? Oh, well, what do you think you're doing? I would follow you anywhere. Uh, 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 Lieutenant, uh, they never found anything on me, so how come you had me busted? I mean, how come now? Maybe because I care about you, Max. Tell me something. Were you anywhere near the oil refinery yesterday? Hmm? What, that place? I've had no action down there since they shut it down. You know Is that. Willie Ravel down there? Oh, well, I Did am asking the questions. Answer uh, the man. Who's Willie Ravel? You remember Willie. He's a friend of yours. You work with him. OK, I knew him. When's the last time you saw him? I don't know, a couple of days. No, 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 no. Yesterday at the A1 grill. Okay, it was yesterday. You remember? I forgot. What did you talk about? Women. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, One girl. One more time, Orwell, no, and China. out. Did you talk about Nancy Wayne? Who's Nancy Wayne? Who killed Willie? Were they the same people that killed Nancy Wayne's boyfriend, Tommy Reynoso? I don't know. Don't look at me, I'm not supposed to talk. Look, Dennett, I'm not answering any more questions, so I see my lawyer. You don't have to answer any more questions. Just uh, if it's Cicero. Kern. Cicero Kern that I'm looking for. Kern. All you have to do is nod your head. Just a little, Maxie. Come on, Maxie. Give me a blink. No. No, I want to talk to my lawyer. Get him out of here. Let's take a walk, Maxie. Look, it's all fit together. Like a vine motif in a tree. Huh? It fits. What time? You're disappointing me, Maxie. Do I score points if I give you something for nothing? That depends. I like that girl, uh, Nancy Wayne. What do you got? Well, like I said, I don't know her, but the talk on the street is for a lot of money. She's a target. Cicero. Kern. myself a cup of coffee. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, make a drink if you like. Did you find her? Did you find my girl? For a while. What do you mean, for a while? Where'd she go? I don't know. She ran away, but that's her pattern, according to you. Hey, what are you saying to me? I'm saying there's a difference of opinion as to how and why your daughter left home. OK. OK, I, I told her she could move out. You didn't throw her out. I released her. What? It's something you learn in AA, Mr. Orwell, to release with love. You were an alcoholic. No, I am an alcoholic. But I, I've been sober for over a year now. And I could barely manage that. And nothing's more important to me than staying sober. Not even your daughter? Hey, listen. I used to look at her stoned out of her mind, and all I could see was myself, the way I used to be. I just couldn't take it anymore. So you, uh, released her? I, I told her she could stay if she wouldn't have the baby. That if she'd just make the effort, I'd, I'd find help for her, we'd work things out. Well, that's a pretty heavy scene to lay off on a 16-year-old, isn't it? Oh, come on. She thought Tommy was going to marry her. I talk to him. He wasn't going to marry her. You think I should have told her that? No, she doesn't straighten out. The baby's going to be born an addict. You know that. I wanted to help her. I really wanted to. Well, maybe you still can. Yeah, how? Well, if we find her, you take charge. You take her somewhere for treatment. You stay with her. 
That's a big order. It's not that big. Very well. This is Sally Jackson, and you'd better get over here right away. Okay. Mike, get some coins and put in that machine, and don't stop until I tell you. in the back and she's coming down hard man hey who are you calling well if she doesn't come down at all you're gonna take the responsibility uh, lieutenant trench please uh, trench harry orwell How'd you find her? The uh, lady tip you? She's a very nice lady. I don't contest the point, and I have my witness, my uh, possible witness. What are you going to do with her? She's a ward of the city. Her room is waiting. How long is it going to wait? You want to elaborate? Well, could it wait until tomorrow? You're having a brainstorm. Yeah, aren't but you? this Maxi character that you're holding. Uh... What's the bail on it? The usual, 200 and change. Well, that's going to wipe out my account. Oh, well, you're not going to do what I think you're going to do. Want to hear my idea? The first part of my plan was to get everyone in one place and make sure that Nancy Wayne would be safe. Nancy, baby. Baby, it's your mama. Honey? Why don't you give her something? She's had medication, Mrs. Wayne. It doesn't make it stop. It just makes it a little easier. Please. 
telling you over and over again, Trench, one of your narcs planted this stuff on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anything planted on you would grow. And hey, that ain't very nice. You ain't very nice. Hey, I thought you wasn't no cop. I'm not a cop. <laughs> then what are you doing here? I came down to pay a traffic ticket. Look, what are you guys gonna do with me? Yeah, bust you, man. How long? Well, uh... Depends, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, well, I ain't telling on nobody. You know what I mean? You know a chick by the name of Nancy Wayne? Yeah, I know Nancy. Well, Nancy OD'd. We got her. Sold her some bad stuff. That's right. Oh, no, no, it wasn't me. Look, the word was out, so I didn't sell her nothing. Who put the word out? I don't know. Well, she got her stuff, huh? Hey, I don't know. What are you asking me for? Don't get so uptight, man. I mean, tomorrow morning, 6 o'clock, we're going to transfer to the community hospital. She's unconscious now, but uh, she make it. She's going to tell us who's after Tommy, who's after Buddy Willie. We are going to come down on everybody. Everybody. Cicero Kern and everybody. Roberts, take this man to his cell. And Roberts, uh, treat him good, give him one with, uh, nice views, stereo, color TV, sauna. Make sure it's on a nice floor. Treat him good, Roberts. How'd I do? Right on, man. Boring, but right on. Maxie? What they got you in here for? I unloaded some smack on a narc pig. How many times I tell you, you gotta know who you're to? Hey, Maxie. You know that Nancy chick? What about her? She OD'd. She dead? <laughs> no, but she's out of it, man. The cops got her. They say if she comes down, she's going to tell who killed Tommy Reynoso and Willie. Where they got her? I don't know. It's 6 o'clock. Tomorrow morning, they're going to move her to community hospital. Let the little fish go, and sometimes you get the whole school. Even the principal. <laughs> Roberts. Must be your lucky day, Maxie. Your bail came through. You're free to go. Hey. Yeah, but not far. Hey, Roberts, where's my TV? Telling you, got it straight from Bannister. Hmm. No wonder she never came to the surface. Hey, 
Every street's got two sides, Maxie. It's something that you learn. I don't know what you mean, Mr. K. I mean you don't work both sides. You were going to set Willie Ravel up in business. After him, there'd have been others. Now you got it wrong, Mr. K. No, I got it right. That's how I got here. Jambo, you take Maxie outside and see that he remembers that. I'll see that Cutter gets word of this. He'll pick us up here at 5.30 in the morning. Nobody's late. At 6 o'clock, we hit that hospital. We'll go over it again to make sure we're all on the same wavelength. Now, when the ambulance gets there, I want everybody in position with two automatic weapons on the roof. Is that clear? Uh, the first team move out, and the rest of us will be about 10 minutes behind you. Oh, well, what are you doing here? Have a coffee. You're supposed to be at the beach with the girl. This is uh, Gina Kirkland. Sergeant Gina Kirkland. And, Sergeant, this is... Orwell. Harry Orwell? Well, a facsimile. He has a bad memory. Ah, Lieutenant Trench tells me you used to be a policeman. I used to be. Hmm. What kind of policeman? Lieutenant type. Hmm. Did you sparkle wearing a gold badge? Only in the sunshine. <laughs> uh, you want me to fill you in on what's going to happen? Well, I already know that. You're going to be Nancy, and you get to ride in the ambulance. Gina, you're on. Oh, well, you're off. You want to know what my mother says about climbing into strange beds? Yeah, well... Oh, well. Take off in five minutes, time it out, get there exactly at six o'clock. Right. Take care of your patient. Don't worry, Lieutenant. They're all clean. None of them can be traced. Who's wired? Belinsky. With an narco squad, been on a couple a couple of months. You probably know him better as Cutter. Now, why didn't you tell me that? Because a smart operator like you should pick up on that. Far be it for me to be paid. I did notice he was a little sloppy. Yeah. Where did you get his name? You mean Cutter? That's right. I built it from a report about a guy they pulled out of a river in Philadelphia. Yeah, you think of everything drenching. Oh, well, you are looking at a model cop. <laughs> Passengers is strictly against the rules. I didn't know you played by the rules. You are a civilian, Orwell, possibly a model civilian, but still a civilian. And if anything goes wrong, it's me they hang out to dry. Go back to your beach, Orwell. Pout in familiar surroundings. Once when I was a little kid, I built a castle out of some old soda pop bottles. Freddie was a mean kid who lived up the block. He came by and he knocked over my castle. Lieutenant Trench reminds me of Freddy. Now, go. What if we're early? What if the girl's early? What if there's cops around that hospital? What if, what if? We go for the girl. Cop gets in the way, it's his problem. Still bugging me. What is? Well, the way the cops let something like that drop. Oh, Maxie's a scavenger. He picks up on all that garbage. Who said it came from Maxie? Who told you? Hey, guys, come here. <laughs> He's a lousy cop.
tell me where they got the girl, or I'll blow your head off. Units two and nine, units two and nine, this is Lieutenant Trench. Signals are off. I repeat, signals are off. Units two and nine, units two and nine, come in, come in. This is Lieutenant Trench. <laughs> sound in there. What do you want? Well, I took her to a friend's house last night down the beach. What happened to the officer I left on duty? Uh, he was preoccupied. Johnson is never preoccupied. I introduced him to the girl next door. You mean Sue? Uh, you never finished telling me what your mother said about climbing in the strange beds. She said, make sure it's an old for Oh, well. What is it? What'd she say? She said she doesn't like it. Nobody told me when I'd stop shaking. Well, nobody knows, really. They gave Nancy methadone at the center. It really helped her a lot. Mr. Orwell, does anybody really get off junk and stay off? Some do, some don't. Your mother was an alcoholic. She is. Is. She goes to AA. Well, why don't you go along? They don't really care what you're hooked on. They'd like to help. You make it a mother and daughter act. Nancy, what do you say about that? I'd like that. Yeah. Well, I, 
I guess we better be leaving. Thank you, Mr. Orwell. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. down on the couch where I want to talk to you. Grover, why don't you like me? I feed you, Grover. I take care of you. You bark at me. You eat my sandwich, Grover. What have I ever done to you, Grover? 